Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this video, I am going to discuss the concept of chi-square test and examples based on it. Let us first see what you will get from this video. First, I will discuss the introduction to chi-square test. Then we will see how to find degrees of freedom in chi-square test. Next, we will see steps involved in chi-square test. And finally, some examples and exercise. Let us proceed with our first point, introduction to chi-square test. Chi-square is the measure of actual divergence of observed and expected frequencies in the sample. Chi-square is denoted by this notation. We read this as chi-square. If FO is the observed frequency and FE is the expected frequency of the class interval, then chi-square is defined as chi-square is equal to summation of FO minus FE the whole square upon FE. Next, we will see how to find degrees of freedom in chi-square test. Degrees of freedom in chi-square test is given by the formula R minus 1 into C minus 1, where R denotes the number of rows and C denotes the number of columns of the frequency table. To understand this, let us consider an example. The following table showing the frequency of check and plain types of shirts and t-shirts. In this table, there are two rows and two columns. Therefore, here degrees of freedom is 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1, that is 1. Note that we use this formula of degrees of freedom when multiple categorical data is given to us. But if we have single category example, a rainfall in 30 days in a particular city is counted, then its degrees of freedom is n minus 1, that is 30 minus 1, which is 29. Now let us proceed to see steps involved in chi-square test. In step 1, we define null and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis should be stated as there is no significant difference between the observed and expected frequencies. Then, in next step, we calculate this test statistics using the formula chi-square is equal to summation FO minus FE the whole square upon FE. In next step, we compare this calculated value with the critical value at degrees of freedom R minus 1 into C minus 1 and at LOS 5%. Let us say tabulated value is chi-square tab. In next step, we write the conclusion. If chi-square calculated value is less than chi-square tabulated value, we accept the null hypothesis. That is, we conclude that there is no significant difference between the observed and the expected frequencies. And if chi-square calculated value is greater than chi-square tabulated value, then we do the opposite. That is, we reject the null hypothesis. I hope you understood these steps. Now let us proceed for some examples. Here in first example, we are given that the following table gives the number of births in a city hospital that occurs during the various days of the week. We are asked to find whether the number of births are uniformly distributed over the week. Here is the table. In this table, you can see that the number of births over the week in this city hospital are given. So on Sunday, there are 14 births. On Monday, there are 16. On Tuesday, there are 8 and similarly on Saturday, there were 14 births. Now let us proceed for solution. As discussed the steps involved in chi-square test, in step 1, we define null and alternative hypothesis. So let us define null hypothesis H0 as number of births are uniformly distributed over the week. By saying this, we are saying that there is no difference between the observed frequencies and the expected frequencies. Therefore, this data is uniformly distributed over the week. Now, HA, that is alternative hypothesis, will be opposite of this. So, HA defined as number of births are not uniformly distributed over the week. Now, let us calculate test statistics. But for test statistics, we also want expected frequencies. These are the observed frequencies. Since we have to check whether these births are uniformly distributed or not, that means on each day, the number of births are same we have to calculate the mean of these data values to obtain the uniform value. So here, observed frequencies are these. Expected frequency will be mean of these frequencies, which I found 12. So we can say, if births are uniformly distributed, then on each day there will be 12 births. Now we calculate chi-square using formula summation FO minus FE the whole square upon FE. For that, let us first calculate FO minus FE the whole square. For that, I'll use this calculation table. Here I wrote down all these FOs and here are the FE. Finally, here I'm writing what is FO minus FE the whole square. So here you can see 14 minus 12 is 2, 2 square is 4. 
16 minus 12 is 4, 4 square is 16 and so on. I found summation f o minus f e the whole square is 50. Let us use this f o minus f e the whole square data and substitute it into this formula. I found chi square calculated value is 50 upon 12 which is 4.17. Now we proceed to find the tabulated value of chi square. For that we need degrees of freedom. Since this data is single categorical and having only 7 values, its degrees of freedom would be 7 minus 1 which is 6. Now we find tabulated value of chi square at this 6 degrees of freedom and taking LOS 5% using the table of chi square. This is the chi square table. Here you search degrees of freedom 6 over here and search for 0 0.05 LOS that is 5% LOS. So here is that 5% LOS. So the corresponding value is 12.592. Let us note down that value. We found chi square tabulated value is 12.59. Now in final step, we compare the tabulated value with calculated value. Recall that chi square calculated is 4.17 and chi square tabulated is 12.59. Since chi square calculated value is less than chi square tabulated value, we accept the null hypothesis. That is number of births are uniformly distributed over the week. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next example. In this example, we are given the information obtained concerning an investigation of 50 ordinary shops of small size. Can it be inferred that the shops run by women are relatively more in villages than in town? We are asked to use chi-square test. Look at this table of data. Here we are given the data of shops in town and in villages. There are 50 such shops out of which 35 are run by men and 15 are run by women. Out of 35, 17 men run shop in town and 18 men run shop in villages. And out of 15 women, 3 women run shops in town and 12 women run in villages. Now let us proceed for solution. First we define null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Here null hypothesis should be Shops run by women are not relatively more in villages than in town. Whereas alternative hypothesis will be opposite of this. Shops run by women are relatively more in villages than in town. Now let us proceed to calculate test statistics. But for test statistics, along with these observed frequencies, we need expected frequencies. So let us first calculate the expected frequencies of this table. I am going to prepare a, another table for this. Here is the table of expected frequencies. Let me show you how I have calculated these expected frequencies. Let us first calculate expected frequency for shops run by men in town. The observed frequency is 17. Note that in town there are 20 shops out of total 50 shops. Since there are 35 men in all in consideration. So this cross ratio product will give us their shops run by men in towns expected frequencies. 20 shops out of 50 into total 35 men. So total 14 expected frequency is there for shops run by men in town. Similarly, to obtain the expected frequency of men's running shop in villages, we have to simply multiply by 35 to 30 upon 50 because there are 30 shops in villages out of 50. Similarly, you can find the expected frequencies for shops run by women in town and villages. The corresponding frequencies I found as 6 and 9. So these are the expected frequencies of shops run by men and women in town and villages respectively. Now let us proceed. For the sake of understanding, I am combining both the tables. Here you can see these are the observed frequencies and these are expected frequencies. Similarly, for villages, these are observed frequencies and these are expected frequencies. Now we will go for test statistics. Test statistic formula is chi square is equal to summation f o minus f e the whole square upon f e. Let us substitute these values over here. Let me show you couple of terms of this calculation. f o is 17, f e is 14. So it is 17 minus 14 the whole square divided by f e that is 14. Similarly, over here f o is 18, f e is 21. So we will write 18 minus 21 the whole square upon f e which is 21 and so on. Finally, using calculator, I found chi square value is 3.571. This is calculated value of chi square. Now we proceed for tabulated value. Here, there are two rows and two columns of information in the data table. Therefore, 
Corresponding degrees of freedom is 2 minus 1 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. We will take LOS 5% and now we will see what is the tabulated value of chi square at 1 degrees of freedom and 5% LOS. I see at 1 degrees of freedom and 5% LOS chi square value is 3.841. Let us take a note of this in our solution. Now finally we compare chi squares tabulated and calculated values. We see chi square calculated value is less than chi square tabulated value. Therefore, we should accept the null hypothesis, which means shops run by women are not relatively more in villages than in town. I hope guys you understood this example too. Now let us proceed for our next example. Here, the number of E cells counted in hemocytometer is compared to the theoretical values is given below. Does the experimental result support the theory? Here is the given data. Over here, we are given the observed frequencies of number of E cells and below expected frequencies are given. Let us proceed for solution. First, we define H0 and HA. Here, H0 should be the experimental results support the theory. That means there is no difference or significant difference between the observed frequency and the expected frequency. Therefore, we say experimental result support the theory. HA will be opposite of this, that is the experimental results does not support the theory. Now let us proceed to calculate test statistics. Chi square given by summation FO minus FE the whole square upon FE. I am going to do this calculation in a tabular format in this way. These are FOs, these are FEs, this is FO minus FE, FO minus FE the whole square and FO minus FE the whole square upon FE. This is summation of FO minus FE the whole square. So the calculated value of chi square here is 3.1779. Guys, you can pause the video and check these calculations. Now let us proceed for tabular value. For tabulated value, we will take degrees of freedom as 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 because there are 6 data values and this is single categorical data. Therefore, degrees of freedom here will be 5. We will take 5% LOS. So, we found tabulated value of chi square at 5 degrees of freedom and 0.05 LOS is 11.070. Now, finally, we compare this calculated value and tabular value. Here, we found calculated value of chi square is less than tabulated value of chi square. Therefore, we should accept the null hypothesis and when we say so, we are saying the experimental results support the theory. That means there is no significant difference between the observed and the expected frequencies. I hope guys you understood this example too. Now it is your turn to solve some examples. Below are two practice examples and for sake of cross verification, I have given the points of the solution below it so that you can cross check your answer. Here is the first example. These are some of the points in the solution. Here is the second practice example. With this you can compare your solution. I request you to write me in comment box whether you got these solutions or not, whether you understood all the examples that I have explained this video or not. I suggest you to keep practicing these examples. Keep watching my videos. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.